So ignore the messy room. This is my new office and it's really cool. Um, it's not clean, it's not ready to be really seen, but it was really the only room I could like film in right now. And Dan is napping upstairs, so that's why. Hi. <laughs> I feel so weird to be filming right now because I haven't really filmed a video in a while. Like I've filmed clips, which I'm gonna be showing in this video. I haven't really shared what's been going on and that's kind of what this video was gonna be about. Um, I had a couple videos filmed that I was gonna do as separate videos, but I decided that it was just too much for me to handle right now. So if you saw my last video that I posted, I had a miscarriage and that was almost a month ago. I'm just gonna kind of go back to when I had my miscarriage. Um, so the days following it, I was kind of a mess. I needed time, I needed healing, I needed snuggles with my little boy and I needed to hold my husband's hand and talk with him through it all and before I get into like the list of everything that went on this month I wanted to just say how thankful and grateful I am to every single one of you for your thoughts and your prayers and your amazing beautiful comments and DMs and for my family and friends that watch these videos also that are just so kind and loving and supportive and just everyone that has given me so much support these last few weeks and it's just I'm really really grateful so thank you <laughs> I have read every single comment and I have I've tried to answer them but I really didn't want I don't know it was it was hard to answer them it was really personal things that people were saying and I don't I don't know if I had the bandwidth really to answer hardly any of them. I think I answered a few and then I couldn't really answer any more. So thanks for all of the comments and the DMs on Instagram and everything. It just it meant the world to me during this time. This it's just been it's been hard, but it's also, you know, I wanna kinda get I wanna get past it. Um, okay, so after the miscarriage, I wallowed. <laughs> There's really no other way to explain it, but I definitely wallowed in self-pity. I, I was just so sad and I wanted to, I don't know, um, I was just really sad. So I wallowed for those first few days, if not the first week and a half or so. But then life happened. Things come back into your life and you can't just sit and wallow. You have to actually do things. And Devin's sister was getting married the next week. So I needed to go help with that. Um, so I made her wedding cake. I helped her with her hair and her makeup for the wedding day and for the bridal the bridal pictures and they did bridal pictures and first look pictures at the same time. And then I also helped make like all the bouquets. So she did like a bouquet for her and then a bouquet for all of her bridesmaids. And then we did a toss bouquet that you can just toss and not worry about something that's not super fancy. This is probably one of those things. I am not a fan of real flowers and I think I think it's just because they sorry um I'm not a fan of real flowers because they just die so so I prefer I prefer fake flowers for that reason um, not that that really matters currently, but that's what I prefer, so. The two other things that I focused on other than the wedding was getting Dan's room finished, which is why I have an office. Me and Devin share this room for our office and it's amazing. And then down the hall is, we're in the basement, and then down the hall is the guest room, which is awesome as well. It's not finished by any means. 
but the rooms are where they need to be and it feels so much roomier and so much nicer and like Devin's computer and the guest bed was in this room and it's a really it's not a very big room for all that so I feel much better having what we have in here and then the guest room could use some TLC but we'll get there <laughs> and then yeah so we got Dan's new room set up and we got that done like right before the wedding and it wasn't perfect but I'm gonna kind of go through what we did all right so I didn't really intro to this very well but that's okay so I have this foam cord that I got from Home Depot that I'm just filling in the gaps where the molding used to be and I don't know why, but they put the subflooring around the molding on the floor. So I was just like, okay, well, I'll just put some of this um, foam here. And then I got some spray foam to spray into this wall hole that um, we pulled the Wi-Fi cord out of. It, like, attached to that outlet right there. I did fix the plate and clean the outlet <laughs> um, for later on but that comes later um anyway so this is just some spray foam that i'm spraying into the wall because it leads to the outside um, i didn't want the draft to come in through that hole i wasn't super worried about it but figured better safe than sorry and then obviously i cut off the excess later after it dried and then i um filled it in with putty and all of the fun things and if you can see it's just like exploding out of there it just kept coming and kept coming oh this spray foam it, this this one specifically like this bottle I was having issues with but it's okay it's fine so in this clip though I am starting to paint the ceiling um I I don't know if I'm priming it or if I'm actually painting it right here. I feel like I'm priming, but it doesn't really matter. I was just getting the ceiling to be the, the same color as the ceiling of the rest of our house, at least the main area of our house. And I believe that this color is called solid opal and I did a flat ceiling for all of it. I think I'm priming it, but I really, I really don't know. <laughs> I really do, I can't remember. I, it's just, you know. <laughs> It feels like I'm painting it. <laughs> I don't know. But the color that it is currently is called Solid Opal. Guys, it's like 1 in the morning. I am so tired. Um, anyway, so I'm just moving the camera around like a crazy person, painting, trying to get a good shot, and painting some more. I think my mom came over. She actually, this was... Um, a few days after everything and my mom had brought us dinner which was so nice it was just really nice to have someone bring us dinner I do remember that happening that day <laughs> what are you doing are you gonna get minion what are you doing what is minion doing Minion can get you? Yeah. Go get him, Minion. Are you going to get Minion? Yeah. Go get Minion. Go get him. Go get Minion. Win, 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 win. Go! <laughs> I love you. So right here, Devin is just taking off all the fittings of the old light fixture. I had him take that off a while ago and just kind of make it so that I could paint the ceiling. And now he's putting on the new light fixture, which looks so much better than the, the really awesome um, mount, <laughs> flush mount lights that you get in most houses. And the awesome camera work is mine because I am also trying to hold up a flashlight so he can see what he's doing because obviously there's no light in this room and uh, Devin can't really see much. So, <laughs> oh, and here's, you know, it's just beautiful. Uh, I am wondering if this light fixture is just a little too small for this room, but it's much better than what there was. So I'm just, I'm not even going to complain about it. It's great for what it, what used to be there, you know. <laughs>
So in this clip, I'm just moving everything out of the hallway so that I can start clearing out the monstrosity that is the floor in this room. I just started piling everything in here. It was really bad. From when we would clear out other rooms, we would just throw anything that had to do with the renovation into this room. So there's a big pile of carpet, which we did end up using a lot of the carpet padding and carpet that is in this room. And then here I'm just sweeping it up and cleaning and doing all the fun things. I filled up like three garbage bags, I think. I don't even know. And it was just really crazy, but you know, it just, it was totally worth it. <laughs> And yeah, I just, there's just so much wood and so many things that I had to move. And I ended up filling up the hallway again. And then a few days later, I cleared out the hallway. It just, it takes time to do these kinds of projects, especially when you're waiting for your baby to go to bed so that you can do them. And then he's in the room sleeping underneath you. Yeah, he was sleeping underneath this room. It was, it was crazy, guys. So here I'm moving all the carpet and I had to move it into our living room, which was insane. So we didn't have a living room for a few days. So that was really fun. Technically, it was actually in our dining room and we, our living room had to be completely moved around just so that the kid and the dog wouldn't claim on it, even though they still did, you know, you can't keep anything away from kids and dogs. But here I'm just sweeping up the rest of the carpet padding and any of the stuff on the floor. And it just felt so much better. Um, there were still a few things that I had to get to and there were, the closet was still full of stuff. So, I mean, it takes a minute to clean out this whole mess of a room by myself, but it's, it was just, it was awesome. It was worth it. And here I am just showing you around the room now that the ceiling is painted with the new light fixture and how much better it looks. And it's just, you know, I was really proud of myself. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I was so proud of myself. The walls looked so good. I still needed to take down that shelf and move all of the other shelves and things, but you know, it just felt so much better. So now here I am just taking down this big shelf. I really liked that floating shelf. I think it looked nice. I don't know if it's technically called a floating shelf if it has brackets, but you know, <laughs> we made the shelf ourselves and just bought the brackets. It took forever for me to get that bracket down. The, the screw had stripped, so I don't even remember what I did. I think I went and got a new, a new thing to get it down like a new drill bit and that worked for some reason but you know it was just a lot of trial and error and then I finally got it down. So then I started sanding where the holes were because they were poking out and then I'm filling them in with some putty and then I started filling the walls around where the baseboards were with putty as well just to kind of get them to line up with the wall and yeah so that's kind of what I'm doing there and then sweeping up some more and then doing other things. I had taken off a wall vent that I went and I needed to replace so just puttying and doing all the fun things while listening to music. I honestly don't even know what I'm listening to in this clip but something good I'm sure. And then sweeping again, honestly, I can't even tell you how many times I swept this floor. There just was always more stuff to sweep up. And then here I am sanding and then I realized that there was a spot on the wall that was like super dirty. So I had to, I had to clean up anything that I hadn't already puttied over, which made me laugh. But you know, that's just kind of life. You don't always catch everything. And then I'm just sanding all of the spots that I had puttied, just making sure that it's semi-flat. I mean, there's only so much I can do as one person. And as long as the walls look mostly decent, I was not that worried about it. <laughs> and then here I'm painting, well, priming where the all the putty was so that it I can prime those spots, just making sure that when I put the other paint on, it holds better and looks better. And then I decided to paint the trim before painting the walls, just to make that job a little bit easier. You know, just, and I did paint the door frame, but I decided that that was a bad idea because we ended up tearing off the door frame so that we can get a 
actual door in there and not just a frame. <sighs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Lots of painting for no reason, but it was all worth it in the end. So then I started painting the walls and I started in the corners and around all of the, the molding and trim and just felt like that was the best way to start just to get that going <laughs> and I really love this color. I used it in my main area in my house and like the kitchen, dining room, living room area and it's called Crisp Linen by Bear and I'm doing it in an eggshell and then I do the trim in a satin and I really love the eggshell just for the walls. I feel like it's matte enough that it's not super annoying but it's also got a, a little tiny bit of a sheen. I don't know, I think eggshell is nice. Satin's nice too, but I like more of a matte finish. Um, not sure where the lighting went there. I think it was just the window was um, blocking all the sunlight, or the sunlight was coming through the window, so it made everything else look darker. Anyway, so just painting around the edges and I'm using a long paintbrush because I just feel like I have better control with edges with one of those and my mom taught me that trick. I don't know if it works for everyone but it works for me. Um, I just didn't want to paint. I didn't want to tape anything. I was too lazy so I just went around the edges and it was fine. I think I probably messed up a little bit but it's fine. No one will even care or notice that much. So then came time to paint all of the walls and I just, I wanted to get done so bad at this point. I was so ready to be done painting and done just doing all of the things for what I felt like what I had been doing for months, which I have been doing all of this for months. This was one of the biggest reasons I wanted to finish was so that Dan could have his room up here, but you know, th life just really gets in the way sometimes and you know, Christmas came, the holidays, and we just didn't have it as a priority. And then the moment, the moment I had um, my miscarriage, I just knew that I needed to get Dan upstairs with me. That was kind of one of those things that's just like struck me. I needed him upstairs with me. I needed to have him close to me. He's my little baby boy, you know. And so that was... That was my main driving force. Also, we needed to kind of clear out the basement so that we could have our guest room for Devin's cousins were coming to stay with us for the wedding. So we that was our main goal was to get Dan's room ready by the wedding. We barely made it in the nick of time, but that's usually the case when you have a deadline, especially when you're a procrastinator like I am. And here I am to tell you more but like in real time, kind of. Okay, <clears throat> so I just woke up, <laughs> as you can probably tell, and I just wanted to clear out this room now that it's all painted and all ready to go, but there's so much stuff in here that I need to move out of here because it will no longer belong in here because it's Dan's room now. Just start pulling things out of here and then start pulling up the laminate. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Now I'm moving closer to you. And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave 
at this place I'll take you anywhere you want As long as we're together Everything we'll do You got me going So we put the carpet carpet padding down. We reused carpet padding because we're reusing the carpet because one day we would like to um, redo the carpet altogether, but we're just reusing what we had because, well, we had it. So we're doing that and I need to bring in the carpet and size it so that it's the right size for when my husband and my dad um, are gonna install it tonight, I think. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. But it feels really nice in here with all of the the new plates and everything, all of the covers and the, the vent cover that feels a lot better than the last one did. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want. As long as we're together. So that's nice. Feels good. Feel better. <laughs> and I've done a lot of like research on how to seam carpet, so that little hole should be fairly easy. Feels good to have carpet in here though, even though it's not even secure, but it feels good. Go. Careful. Owie. Yeah, don't step on that. That's owie. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Hey Dan, I have a question for you. Do you want this to be your room? Do you want me to put your bed in here? Yeah. yeah. You want to go night night in this room? Thank you. You're welcome. Hey Dan. Do you want this to be your room? Yes. Yes? Where do you want me to put your bed? Bye. Where? Bye. Okay, bye bye. See you later. <laughs> bye. Love you. Bye. Where are you going? What are you doing? Is this your new room? Yes. Are you excited? Good night. Okay, good night. Thank you. <laughs> Dan's just so stinking cute. He kept playing with my camera too while I was shampooing the carpets. So we got them all laid flat for the most part and then they were still kind of bunching up so we decided to shampoo them once they were all laid flat. I didn't um, I didn't film getting them stretched because my dad helped with that and he does not like being filmed and I didn't even want to I didn't even want to ask him and so I just... I just decided not to film him for that and so we decided to shampoo the carpets the night that they got stretched and then we let them dry overnight and then the next morning we stretched them out again and they were absolutely perfect we thought we were gonna have to stretch them out a couple times but the shampooing did its job it was awesome it helped the carpet lay flat and so yeah and so now we're just moving everything into Dan's room now. Yay! I cannot tell you how awesome it felt to finally move all of his furniture back upstairs and into his new room. Obviously, we still have to put all of the molding around the bottom, like the floors, the stuff that needs to go there. But right now, this is where it's at. It's just with the furniture, it's very messy. And you'll be seeing this room in future videos, but for now, this is kind of where we're at. And we're not sad about it. We're not the most thrilled that we haven't gotten more done. But, you know, there's just some things that you can only do so much of. And it functions as his bedroom. It functions for us, for what we need. And just, he's got such a great new room and he calls it his new yums and it cracks me up 
Oh, that kid, he just is the cutest, and I don't know what I did to deserve him. He's just the best. So, yep. Um, and my husband is just a trooper for putting up with everything that I make him do for me. Oh, he's the best, and I love him so much. And I don't talk enough about Devin on this channel, but I just, I have to say that he is seriously the most amazing husband that anyone could ask for. And I don't know how I got so lucky, but I did. And, you know, I'm really lucky. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. But it was worth it. And I would completely say that I truly, truly enjoy having him have his room upstairs. It just makes me feel better. It was something that was kind of healing for me. Um, because after everything happened, I wasn't pregnant anymore. So I wasn't having to worry as much about what I was doing so I was able to do a lot to get that room finished quicker but it was definitely healing to be able to get Dan into the room closer to me so that I can have him closer um and then and then the wedding happened and I was working on making a wedding cake at the same time as the flooring going in, the carpet going in. So there's still things in Dan's room that we need to do. I need to clean it. I need to organize it. Those will be for other videos. I just, I'm just happy to have him upstairs and be able to put, have somewhere to put his toys when I don't know where to put his toys. And... <laughs> His room is a disaster right now and I understand that that that's just the way it is that's how it has to be right now and that's okay so after we finished Dan's room we still had the wedding the next day and then after the wedding was over I wasn't busy um, I needed things to keep me busy I didn't have anything that was keeping me busy and then so I just once that well th once those projects were over with I had nothing to do so I kind of slumped <laughs> I it, it began to slip into like a depression or like a slump you know I needed things to keep me busy. I needed things to focus on because <laughs> I'm one of those people. I'm like a one-track mind. If something's on my mind, I get it done. I'm um, at least to a point where it fits and it works in my life. And I could have focused my attention on filming videos and posting videos. But I don't think I was quite emotionally ready for that yet. So the last week and a half, I've been resting kind of. I have gone grocery shopping, I've taken Dan to the park, I've taken Dan into our backyard. We actually went over the weekend to Devin's uncle's house and helped them with some things around their house. During that week and a half I also over ate like crazy. I ate so many crumble cookies. If you guys know what crumble is, they're delicious, <laughs> but they are so addicting. And I ate so many of those. We got a lot from the wedding, so we were kind of eating them like crazy. Along with eating habits, the last few months, even during my pregnancy, um, especially during my pregnancy, I basically just let myself eat whatever I wanted because I was just like, yeah, I'm pregnant, I get to eat whatever I want, you know, and then, and then I wasn't pregnant anymore, and so I didn't really stop the eating, and I gained a lot of weight from the moment I became pregnant to now, even before, I, I don't know, I don't know exactly when it completely started, but it hasn't been very healthy, and I, it's just made me feel like really crappy. And so the last three days, um, Devin and I did a something called the military diet. And 
it's just a three-day diet where it just kickstarts you back into more of a healthy eating mindset. Basically, it's just like restricting your food for three days and then and then after those three days, you're a little bit more mindful about what you're eating. You're not just stuffing your face to stuff your face. And yes, I ate Oreos today, but I was very careful not to eat too many. I'm squishing closer to the camera. So we've been doing that and I actually lost five pounds over those three days just because you are really restricting your food intake and yeah, so I don't know how much of that weight was like water weight because I wasn't in, like eating as much and so I wasn't needing to hold on to as much water. I don't know, but it was worth it. Feels good. Um, and I might start doing it like every two weeks or every month or so. It is one of those diets that you're supposed to do three days on, four days off, three days on, four days off. But instead I'm doing three days and then the rest of the time I'm doing intermittent, intermittent fasting, which is like eating at noon and then not eating after eight. So it's just like an eight hour window. We chose noon to eight though. So yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing. I wouldn't recommend these for anyone because I don't know what kind, what kind of weight loss you need or what your body needs. But it is nice to like look at the scale and see that I have lost weight even just from a few days ago. The reason it like really made me want to do this diet again was because I bought a pair of shorts from Walmart and I tried them on and when I got home because you can't really try on at the store easily and I had Dan with me so there was no way I was gonna be able to try it try them on at the store so I tried them on and they didn't fit me guys these were a pair of shorts that were a size too big from what I thought I wore so either the manufacturer made them wrong or the scale is right and was telling me that I had gained more weight and I weighed more than I had ever weighed in my life and I just, I couldn't handle it. I was so sick of feeling this way. And so me and Devin started the military diet and now we're doing intermittent fasting and we're hoping that it'll work for us. And obviously the weather's nice so I can get out and do things. I'm really hoping to like, not just lose weight, but feel better in my body. The, the house though, um, I have been cleaning still slowly. Um, the big main room was super, super messy and I have been slowly cleaning that, making it suitable for me, suitable for people when they come over, suitable for camera. And I know that you guys don't care, but I care. So <laughs> it was just like mayhem and craziness. And, um, I feel like my life is starting to kind of all come together and it feels so much better and just so many things that I just, I feel better. Like along with my house, I am feeling better. I still have a hole in my heart from my experience and it'll probably never go away. Um, I'm a little sad to experience Mother's Day But it'll be okay. I'm just really grateful that I have Dan because he makes life so much better. I'm just holding Dan tightly every day because knowing that he's here is really the only thing that makes it any better. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to say that I love all of you and I'm so grateful for all of you as this is the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. I've never cried so much in my life and that's saying something because I cry about everything. <laughs> I'm just a cry baby. But most days I feel cried out. Like I feel like I can't shed a tear for this anymore. Obviously today's not one of those days. I have a box that I bought at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> And in it is just a few things for me. I just, I wanted to hold on to from this pregnancy because I don't have a lot. 
stuff. I have some dried out rose petals and flowers that my friend my friend gave me a bouquet of flowers when it happened. And so I dried them out and I will put some of those in there and then I'll probably put the rest in a jar that I can see. And then I have my pregnancy tests and the flower that Devin cut for me the day after it happened. And then I'm gonna write a poem, I think, or at least a letter that I can put in there. I did want to say that I did name the baby. Just like for me, I haven't told anyone what the name is, but I might. <laughs> I haven't even told Devin. Devin came in here and he grabbed the dog because she's driving me crazy. He was asking me why I was crying and I don't even really know. <laughs> it's been kind of a crazy week, month. It's crazy. I'm really ready to be done crying, but I wouldn't be me if I forever stopped crying. So, you know, I have to hold on to myself a little bit. <laughs> But my next videos should be much more lighthearted and happy and fun. <laughs> I promise I'm not a downer all the time. Life sure does help <laughs> get in the way of being sad. You just fill your life with things that you care about and love. There's only so many bad things that can creep in if you fill your life with things that are great and loving and happy. But I've really missed YouTube and I've missed all of you. And thanks for all your kind words of encouragement as me and my family are going through this. We're really grateful to have all every single one of you in our lives and thank you so much. But I'm gonna let you guys go and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it's a little nicer than this. Bye.